knows that w when you're evangelizing, there are at least two conditions to tell people to be no, born again. What, There's two conditions. What conditions? Everyone knows this okay, because this is how everyone they? evangelizes. Okay, right. You need to repent and you need to believe and you need to do both. No, no. no. I mean, it says so in Scripture. Okay, where? Give me an example. Mark chapter 1, verse 14, I think. Well, okay, read that and, and then we'll talk about it because I don't think that's what it's saying. 14 and 15. Now, after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. So they're preaching the gospel and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. So obviously, if you want to go to heaven when you die, you need to repent and you need to believe. Two things. Okay, you know, I'm glad you brought this up, Sean, but the issue here is not going to heaven when you die. Okay, why, why do you say that? Okay, because John the Baptist and the Lord Jesus Christ both preached, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. Uh, Matthew 3, 2, Matthew 4, 17. This is an extension of that message. And according to the Old Testament and the preaching of John the Baptist and Jesus, the kingdom would not come for the nation of Israel unless the entire nation was both believing and repentant. All right, now I've, I've heard some people say this. I, I think I know where you're going. They say this is the gospel of the kingdom, and that's not the message of how an individual can be born again and be with God forever. That's exactly right. Notice it says what you just said, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Okay, the word gospel means good news, so we could translate this preaching the good news of the kingdom of God. And then notice what Jesus says, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm. What the Lord Jesus is saying is, I'm offering you, this generation of Jews, the kingdom. And if they had received him, John 1, 12, then not only would the individuals have been become children of God, but the nation would have gone into the kingdom when Jesus returned. He still had to die on the cross. He still had to leave for the time of Jacob's trouble, which we call the tribulation. But the kingdom could have come in 40 AD. It, right now, we're almost 2,000 years since Jesus died, rose again, appeared, and ascended. But the kingdom could have come in the first century, and it didn't because they didn't believe and repent. Now, by the way here, the believing here is believing not in the gospel of 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 11. This is the gospel he just mentioned in verse 14, the good news of the kingdom. Right. And so in order for the kingdom to come, they had to repent, believe the kingdom was at hand. And of course, within that, if they did, they would believe this is the king. Right. And that by faith in the Messiah king, they would be in his kingdom. I think John 3 is really about exactly. how to be born again so you can see the kingdom. Right. That's kind of the prerequisite for everything. John 3, 3, yeah. But then for the kingdom, for the nation of Israel to get the kingdom that was promised, they had to do these additional requirements. Exactly. Interesting. Well, thank you very much for that answer. Well, thanks, Sean.